Good afternoon and welcome to Berrien Springs Academy's 24th Moving Up and Graduation Ceremony with the theme, Embracing the Challenges in the New Normal and Sustaining Quality Education Through Online Learning. Let's give a round of applause to the graduates of school year 2020 to 2021. Carolino Mark Angel A. Davisores Kel Michael B. Panuncio Rodney C. Suan Hotel C. Peneda Binaya Jota Matias A. Regalado Ethan Silas N. Arnedo Cassandra Teres S. Bolivar Jean Ira S. Castro Verde Faith Loris F. Lacton Kyle Queen O. Bruno Alessandria Maris C. Let's also welcome our guest speaker for today, Pastor Joe King B. Tama, and the faculty and staff of Berrien Springs Academy. Our school director, Ma'am Elona R. Basse. School Administrator, Ma'am Merlin Shane B. Estrella. Teachers, Fatima Gutlay, Fatima Tijias, and Teacher Rosaline B. Olermo. Thank you for the time 
we have given us to attend the small bitus even in our life. Lord, guide us, give us knowledge and wisdom. Thank you for the teachers and school administrators of Berrien Spring Academy who treat us like family. It's graduation day. It's not the end, but the start of new challenges of success in our lives. God, touch our hearts like our pipe and leave us to be to be with you someday. We ask this in your powerful name. We pray. Amen. As we continue with today's program, Alessandra Marie Ceruno will read us a verse from the Bible. Stay tuned until the end of the program for our announcements regarding our free summer classes, school year 2020 details, and important schedules ahead. And now, to formally begin our ceremony, may I call on Benaya Jota Matias for his welcome address. Good afternoon, respected school. Administrators, teachers, supportive parents, and guest speaker, Pastor Joking Tamon. On behalf of Baron Springs Academy graduates, I welcome you to this wonderful day of celebration. Free school has been very exciting because we have faced a challenging year thanks to the advanced technology we were able to continue our education despite the distance i was able to meet new classmates and was taught by engaging made learning fun. As we face difficulties in life, let us not forget those who help us get, get through the hard times. So today, celebrate our graduation day. Let us also celebrate the gift of encouragement. And people who made the stop here bearable. Let's also give thanks to the Lord who brought us all together safe and healthy. Our graduates, once again, my warmest congratulations on your achievement. Of success. Abuay. Tan lahat. What an inspiring message. There is always something to celebrate about. Thank you, Benaya. Our speaker today is Barrett Springs Academy's former Pathfinder director who is now based in Vietnam. He conducted numerous programs including Pathfinder campings, recollections, and spiritual retreats for teachers, all of which focus on faith, character development, and team building. He is a father of one, soon two, a beloved husband, and an enthusiastic leader. We are honored to have him today, so without further ado, let me call Pastor Joe King B. Tamo. Good morning, everyone. To our guests, parents, our beloved teachers, and students. Today is a mark day. It doesn't say this is the end of your day, but will be the starting day of a new future that you've been facing as a new normal. 
to Berlin Springs Academy, thank you so much for this opportunity, for taking part in this virtual graduation. I'd like to start this talk with a certain fact of a small insect, which refers to the main theme of our message. There is a small kind of insect that could be as small as this, that it needs to go deep under the ground. It could be able to prepare himself or itself into the future as a totality of an insect. It's similar to caterpillar. It needs to be coated with everything for a few particular days and even weeks. And after that one, here comes out a beautiful butterfly. But here, it's an insect similar to cricket. This particular insect will drop to himself down under the ground and stay there for particular months. And when it's ready, it's simply out of its shell, fly as much as it can, and then make the loudest noise that he or she could produce, and then die. What's, what are you going to tell us, sir? Uh, the purpose of this cricket is simple fly as much as it can and make the loudest noise he can produce. Did he make his purpose? Yes, he does. Life here is not all about having positions. It's not having beautiful cars, luxurious houses, and, be, and even expensive clothes. He talks about on how you drive yourself into the purpose that God has given you. For the teachers, you've done a great job for this whole year. Despite of pandemic and challenges, you've been helping us out. Your students are the witness of your sacrifices. that you've been showing from day one up to now. You've done a great job, teachers. And you are also the reason why most of the students will be able to meet the purpose of their lives. To our students, it doesn't mean how much grades you got, how high grades you got, it means if whether you do every single task that your teachers are being given. And every single step that you take, it would prepare you to be a better you. Despite of this challenge of distance learning, you can be able to prepare yourself to meet your purpose in life. You will do it by your own. You've done your honest part to do all your responsibilities, homeworks, modules, assignments, and even exams. The most important part is you take part and you prepare yourself to meet your purpose. Lastly, the one that plays a very important role, parents. To the parents out there, congratulations. We are so thankful as children that you've done your greatest job to bring the best out of us to your children. Without you, we can be able to do and meet our purpose. This morning, this may be short video 
I'd like to remind you. Do your purpose. Prepare yourself in every single practice. I started my teaching career there at BSA, Berrien Springs Academy, the Barrier of Light Wisdom Colleges, and now at the moment. I've been working with bigger, one of the biggest companies here in Vietnam to train their workers, supervisors and managers, TESOL company, leadership training for teachers. It's because I was prepared to the schools where you are in at the moment. I was trained at the Berrien Springs Academy as a teacher in building confidence and doing my task of purpose. Thank you so much, Mom, Arlene, and Basse, to the family. This is a personal congratulatory and thank you. Without you giving me an opportunity to be a part of Berrien Springs Academy, I may not be able to reach what I am today. To the students and parents, every single day is the day that distends for tomorrow. Do our honest part in preparing our kids, our students, to meet their purpose in life. We can be able to help them out. Despite of these challenges, it would never stop to us to reach and catch our dreams. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Have a nice day. Thank you so much, Burying Springs Academy, for this opportunity. Once again, mabuhay at sana maligaya ang bawat isa sa atin sa umat. Good morning. This year had been tough, but we salute all you parents. And that was Pastor Joe, our former Pathfinder Director. And now, we will proceed with the presentation of graduates to be led by their advisor teachers, Teacher Fatima Sihias and Teacher Rosaline V. Olermo. May I present to you the moving offers of Batch 2020-2021. Pineda Vinaya Jota Matias A, Achiever, Best in Civica, Best in Christian Living, Best in Member Works, Aspiring Actor. Tigalago, Ethan Silas N, Best in Mathematics, Mathematician, Sensational Storyteller, and Inquisitive Learner. Arneto, Cassandra Therese X, Best in Science, Best in Filipino, Bulibar Jean IAS, Achiever, Best in Reading, Best in Mathematics, Best in Memory Works, 101,000 Love Awardee, and with awesome attitude. Tax Robertic Faith Lawrence F, Achiever, Best in Civica, Best in Christian Living, Best in Memory Works, and Independent Youngster. Lakson Kyrie Queen O, Achiever, Best in Filipino, Best in Memory Works, Independent Youngster, Little Teacher, and Perfect Attendant. Si Runo and Sandria Marisi, Achiever, Best in Reading, Best in Science, 101,000 Love Awardee, Best in Memory Works, Perfect Attendant, and with Creative Hands. And now, may I present to you the graduating students of Batch 2020-2021. Carolino Mark Andrel A. Aspiring Actor. Navisaurus Kel Michael B. Aspiring Actor and Most Improved. Panuncio Rodney C. Best in Science, Inquisitive Learner, Extraordinary Effort, and Golden Loyalty Award. Suwaan Jose Zig D. Achiever, Best in Mathematics, Best in 
Civica, 100 in 1000 Club Awardee, Critical Thinker, and Loyalty Award. Lingahan China T, Best in Christian Living and Loyalty Award. Senyana Sofia Jewel B, Achiever, Best in English, Best in the Reverse, and Perfect Attendance. Dundin Brand SPT, Best in Filipino. Congratulations, graduates! Let's call China Lingahan for the Pledge of Loyalty. Pledge of Loyalty. We, the graduates of Bering Springs Academy, do solemnly pledge to remain faithful to our beloved alma mater, to live with the Christian values taught in our school. We promise to uphold its ideals, teaching, tradition, and be a true bearer in mind, in heart, and in spirit. So help us God. This is the moment to give gratitude to our number one supporters amidst this challenging time. In truth, without them, we wouldn't even be here. So, let me call Sofia Senieres for a heartfelt message to our parents. Our beloved parents, honored guests, school administrator, faculty, fellow graduates, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant day to all of you. It is with distinct pride and honor that I speak before you today and pay tribute to our dear parents. I can still remember the first day of school clinging desperately to my mother's arms, my small fingers clutching, hopelessly fearing the unfamiliar world I was about to step into. I also remember the soothing words of encouragement and endearment that were hushed to me. The trust I had at even, even at such a young age had me puffing out my chest and charging into that classroom with newfound determination. You took care of us in every aspect. You got us out from bed and ready in the morning, cooked for us, cleaned up behind us, and disciplined us in ways that were crucial in making us who we are today. You were there for our first steps, first words, and first scars. You have shown pride in our simplest accomplishment, such as a scribble drawing that took us all of 30 seconds to make. You have invested in us emotionally, physically, mentally, and financially, devoting yourselves completely into helping us proceed in life. You were always there to catch us when we fall and to also push us back in the place when we stay, stray dangerously. Your love is endless and always forgiving no matter how we act or treat you. We often took advantage of that unconditional love, never fully appreciating of what we are so lucky to have. You did these things not expecting anything in return, making sacrifices to better our futures. You were a constant safety net for us, lifting us back after we made mistakes. So Mama and Papa, let me take this time to give you my gratitude as you molded me into who I am at this moment. You are, the pil you are my pillars and the winds that source my sails. I know that I will go far with you behind my back. Thank you for the unconditional love and support. May the achievements I received today bring you honor and pride. To my fellow graduates, let us not forget the sacrifices our parents did for us. We are one of the few blessed children who had given an opportunity to continue quality education in these hard times. I pray we may continue love them, to love them, show them our gratitude, and always seek for their happiness. Mama, Papa, from the bottom of my heart, I love you.
message indeed. May we call Mr. Edelbert Senyeres to give us his response as a parent. To our beloved students, ever-loving and dedicated teachers, faculty, and staff, and especially to our graduating class, a wonderful and pleasant day to everyone. It's been an honor and a privilege to speak to you in behalf of your parents. Today will be a part of your wonderful and amazing memories to remember. It is a day to celebrate your achievements and a symbol that you will start to a new journey in a new chapter of your life. It is also a mark of your success, a sign that you are one more step closer to what you do. As a parent, we're very thankful and blessed that despite of your challenges in life, no matter what problems we encounter our way, you keep your feet and mind focused towards your goal and remain dedicated and enthusiastic in ever loving children. That's why we're always here together with the school, ready to guide you, love you, and support you always so that you grow to achieve greater heights and become a God-fearing and a productive Filipino citizen someday. Whatever achievements you may have, or success you have passed, and even failures during the days of your youth, always remember that there is God who works miracles. So always pray and be thankful to Him all the days of your life. As it is written in the Holy Scriptures, Proverbs chapter 16, verse 16, that having wisdom and understanding is better than having silver or gold. Finally, we would like to impart to you one of the secrets of success. Love your God above all else and respect others. For in Him lies great knowledge and wisdom, and he who finds Him finds life. May this message speak to you, to your heart, and our beloved, beloved children. May He bless you always and guide you always. Always remember that your mama and papa, daddy or mommy, nani or tare, or whatever you call your parents, we are always here, ready to make sacrifices so that you may have a better life. We are very thankful that in return you show your kindness and love through your dedication, honoring your parents, and achieving your dreams one at a time. There is nothing else we can pray than seeing all of you become a successful person whose heart and mind always walks after our own God's will. Celebrating your success with love and respect, continue with fight towards success and never falter. Endure and enjoy life to its fullest. Don't be afraid because your God will keep you always and we are here to give you a hand towards success. Again, congratulations and we love you always. God bless you all. A graduation program wouldn't be complete without a graduation song. Let us now watch the grade 6 students with their graduation song entitled, Moments. We might not be walking across that stage With the cameras flashing, they've been waiting on our day It's been a journey, hasn't it?
or just a year or two. And I'm grateful. Let's hear an inspiring journey from a student who spent almost a decade with us. He was one of the most loved students from beginning to end. Let's hear it from Rodney Panuncio. It was around nine years ago that I entered this institution as an energetic preschooler who had a big smile, a big ambition, and a big brother. It was not easy, but I did my best. So not to live in my brother's older brother's shadow fought my way to where i am right now my journey has been challenging yet it was meaningful i had teachers who so, who were so patient that even though i had a hard time learning they never gave up i had classmates who cheer for me and parents who supported me every step of the of the way for almost a decade so it just breaks my heart to even imagine that i will wake up tomorrow and won't see my friends on zoom meeting one of my unforgettable memories memory is when is when I finally became part of the school marching band. I was so ecstatic that I immediately asked my parents to buy me two sets of bass drum sticks. I was so happy that I started planning everything. Unfortunately, the pandemic hit, hit us hard. And we had to restore the to distance learning, but I am still hopeful for that day where we get to perform in front of you and our alma mater. Each and every person in this school has played the one or the other role in shaping me for over the year, over the year to who I am today. For that, I am forever grateful to each and every one of you, my friend, my teachers, Mom Arlene and Sir Edwin. Thank you for never giving up on me. Thank you for all that you have taught me. Thank you everyone for being part of my colorful life. Baron Springs Academy has been my second home for all nine years. It's, it's with a heavy heart that I must say goodbye to my alma mater. But the, li the life lesson you all have taught me will be in my heart for many years to come. Henry Ford once said, coming together is beginning, keeping together is progress, and working together is success. This has been Rodney Sipanuncio, a proud student for the last nine years of Barry Springs Academy. What a wonderful journey indeed. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the next part of our program. We have witnessed all your efforts, sacrifices, and perseverance. Today is the day we will recognize all of it. Let's begin! Before we call the awardees, let me first introduce the awards. Perfect Attendance Award is given to the learner who was present in all of his or her classes and must have no absences the entire year. 100 and 1000 Club Awards are given merit to students who have the highest perfect scores in all activities, 
seat perks, and recitations. Best in Memory Verse Awards are for students who had the highest scores in reciting their memory verses during their CL classes. Special Awards These awardees have demonstrated their exemplary performance in arts or music, character buildings, and other exceptional skills. Achiever This award is given to learners from nursery to grade 6 who has attained a specific average and a passing final grade in all learning areas. Let's start with the nursery. Guzman Carl Jared R. Best in Science, Best in Christian Living, 101,000 Club Awardee, and in Christian Learning. Regalado Liam Gabriel N. Best in Reading, Best in Mathematics, and Awesome Attitude. Good job, Carl and Liam. Now, let's proceed with Grade 1. Bayarkal Mark Brian S. Best Filipino, Excited S. An Extraordinary Effort. Castillo Francis Yador T. Achiever, Best in Mathematics, Best in Memory Verse, and Perfect Attendance. Castro Verde Avenger F. Best in Christian Living, Awesome Attitude, and Independent Youngster. De Leon Kian Rafael. Achiever, Best in English, Best in Memory Verse, and Mathy Magician. Priya Shane Caleb T. Awesome Attitude, and Tidy Death. Hipolito Vitor Cien. Achiever, Best in Science, Best in Civica, and 100 and 1000 Club Awardee. Jose Joseph Angelo C. Aspiring Actor, and Mathy Magician. Lynn Zaki Shin D, aspiring blogger and creative hands. Thank you and congratulations, Grade 1. Now, let's call the Grade 2. Gamboa Christina Rose G, achiever, best in science, best in memory verse, and perfect attendance. Geronimo Lebron James O. Achiever, Best in English, Best in Memory Verse, and Inquisitive Learner. Senieres Josh Ethan B. Achiever, Best in Mathematics, Best in Civica, Best in Memory Verse, and Sensational Storyteller. Velasco Gabriel Anki. Achiever, Best in Christian Living, Best in Filipino, 101,000 Club Awardee, Best in Memory Verse, and Awesome Attitude. Keep it up, Grade 2. Now, let's give way to the Grade 3. Bartolome Gabriel Herb B. Best in Mathematics and Best in Memory First. Garcia G. N. L. Best in Christian Living and Superstar Singer. Great job, Grade 3. Now, let's give a round of applause to the Grade 4. Bondok Marie Lucas S. Best in Christian Living and Amazing Artist. Garcia Princess Victoria T. Achiever, Best in English and Best in Filipino. Cardinico Elise Jaden D. Achiever, Best in Mathematics, Best in Science, Best in Memory Verse, 101,000 Club Awardee, and Perfect Attendance. Machan Russell John David F. Tidy Desk. Velasco Gail Rose T. Achiever and Best in Civica. Zabala Julian Forrest B. Amazing Artist and Wonderful Writing Awardee. Congratulations, Grade 4 students. Last but definitely not the least, may I call on the Grade 5 students. Banao Brian Dylan F. Achiever, Best in Filipino and Aspiring Blogger. Basco Torby GLT, Best in Christian Living and Class Newscaster. Bulan Jewel Atea, Achiever, Best in English, Best in Civica, 101,000 Club Awardee and Creative Head. Fernandez Leon Inigo N, Inquisitive Learner and Extraordinary Effort. Ardenico Ethan Jarrett B, Achiever, Best in Science, Best in Memory Verse, Amazing Artist, and Perfect Attendance. 
Miharis Julia Melissa E, best in mathematics, tidy desk, and aspiring actress. Thank you and congratulations, Grade 5. Here in Bering Springs Academy, we give recognition to parents who have shown us exceptional support for the whole year. And this exemplary award, the Parents of the Year Award, goes to none other than Mr. and Mrs. Ethelbert P. To give us his farewell address this afternoon, my call on a set date this one, followed by the graduate's farewell song entitled, My Wish. To our beloved school directress, Ma'am Eileen, to the faculty and staff of Baron Springs Academy, our beloved guests, my fellow graduates, and to everyone watching right now, a pleasant, a pleasant afternoon to all of you. The day has come at last, the day of much awaited hopes, the day for which for six solid years we have strived and labored for. Not to mention the sacrifices of our dear parents, the guiding hands and patience of our dear teachers, and those who in one way or another had helped us reach this moment. We are now at the verge of one and at the starting point of another. We are living our life, lives as an elementary student and ready to traverse the new exciting life of high school. I would still remember six years ago, the first grader me setting foot in an unfamiliar classroom, feeling scared, happy, and excited at the same time. I had teachers who taught us compassion, faith, discipline, and a lot of meaningful life lessons. I've also met strangers who became friends, who became friends who would accompany me throughout the journey of my elementary years. Because of them, I became the student of who I am today. So, it will be my pleasure and honor this afternoon to give gratitude and farewell to all integral people who were part of my journey in this institution. To Princess, to Andrew, to Michael, Gina, Rodney, Sophia, and Ashley. Thank you for the days, weeks, months, and years we have spent together, where we laughed and were bewildered each moment we spent together during, during classes, recollections, campings, family nights and field trips, and other school -like events. Each time I look back, I see the beginnings of our story and what has become of us from that point until now. I know that we have a long road ahead of us, but it is a good start. China, we've been classmates since first grade, so I know you can persevere through anything, achieve everything when you put your mind to it. Sophia, we've known each other for a while now, and all I can say is you are strong, brave, and I applaud you for that. Ashley, it has been four years and you're one of the nicest and most generous persons I've ever met. Princess, you are resourceful and resilient. Um, Andrea, I know you have been through a hard time, but if you persevere through life, you can achieve everything you pray would be. And lastly, Rodney and Michael, you two are actually more than you think you are. You two are both. You are kind, caring, generous, and friendly. And I know those qualities will help you get ahead of life. I'd also like to take this opportunity to, to mention a special teacher who inspired me to become who I am today. And that would be Teacher Krisha Kumbaliser. She treated us like friends, but maintained to be strict. Most of our days are spent with their teachers, Teacher Rosaline, our advisor, Teacher Fatima Hias, Teacher Shane, and Teacher Fatima Goodbye. Thank you for being patient with us despite the hardships that COVID-19 brought us. Thank you for giving us a chance to learn something new every day. I would also like to thank Mom Arlene for welcoming us with open arms, accepting our differences, and creating this loving environment to nurture us not just with knowledge and skill, but with character and values that we can carry in our hearts whenever we go on from this day. Thank you so much. Parting with all of you will be one of my saddest memories in the school. 
it has come to a great realization for me that we have to say goodbye to all of the bonding, the laughter, and the pain we went through together. It may be farewell for now, but it's not final. I know we will see each other again someday. We will see each other where our paths will align and we will be hit with nostalgia about all of the memories we memorized by heart. To my parents, thank you for the opportunity to be part of this wonderful institution. You have supported me in every step and paved the way so that I could be where I am today. Thank you. Our journey with Burns Miss Academy may have ended, but it also means that another chapter is opened. We will be moving bigger things towards bigger things, but we know, but I know, we will never forget where we started because the lessons we learned from BSA will always stay in our hearts. To the source, to the source of all of this blessing, the divine providence, thank you for making all of the people around us an instrument of your unconditional love and compassion. Fellow graduates, our journey is not yet over. It has just begun. I pray that destiny would cross our paths again because I'm going to miss every one of you. They say the party is such a sweet sorrow, but I believe that is not the end of our friendship. Let's spread our wings as we soar our as we soar to our dreams, this is Jose Zigliswaan, Vanilla Graduate. With a choice and you have to choose I hope you choose the one that means most to you And if one door opens to another door is closed I hope you keep on walking till you find the window If it's cold outside Show the world the warmth of your smile But more than anything More than anything More than anything My wish for you that this life becomes all that you want it to Your dreams stay big, your worries stay small You never need to carry more than you can hold While you're out there, yeah, you let you get into I hope you know somebody loves you And wants the same things too Yeah, this is my You never look back, but you never forget All the ones who love you and the place you left I hope you always forgive and you never regret And you help somebody every chance you get Oh, you find God's grace in every mistake And know He's give more than you take But more than anything More than anything More than anything My wish for you is that this life becomes all that you want it to your dreams stay big your worries stay small you never need to carry more than you can hold while you're out there getting where you're getting to i hope you know somebody loves you That this life becomes all that you want it to Your dreams stay big, your worries stay small You never need to carry more than you can hold And while you're out there getting where you're getting to I hope you know somebody loves you And wants the same things too Yeah, this is my
finally, we have reached the end of our program. Let's give way to Ma'am Elona Base, our school directress, for her closing remarks, followed by announcements of important dates to remember this coming school year. Good afternoon, everyone. Before we close today's ceremonies, I'd like to take this last opportunity to say, on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of Berry Springs Academy, congratulations both graduates and the family and friends who have helped us arrive at this moment. Graduates, it is clearly seen your outstanding achievements and its well-deserved pride. Though that's not merely the end of awarding of certificates, diplomas, and medals as the end of academic year 2020-2021. Just think about all that brought us here, all the hardships brought about by this pandemic, too great to recall, all the nights of study, all the grades, all the discussion, experiences, all the stress, all the efforts, all the insights, all of it, all comes together today in this ceremony. As we witness your defying fruitful journey come to an end today, another door awaits you with lots of opportunities, chances, challenges, and pursuits. There comes a time that you will apply all information wisdom and knowledge you gain and this time is now as you leave the gates of your alma mater kindly embody the ideals that we implanted and possess the vision of holding the light of future and show the world your individuality with gratification sure you will face difficulties but in spite of that don't forget to hold on character that is crucial. That will be your reflection for tomorrow on how you will build a strong foundation in your family, peers, community, and even yourself. Once again, good day and congratulations.